your man DJ Kirk State. As you can see, I am back with another tutorial on how to repair a problem with your Akai AFX. Well, let's say I'm back with a tutorial. And this tutorial is about repairing a problem with your Akai AFX and AMX. Okay? So, recently I was having problems going on Serato, starting it up, and then bam, I get that little funky yellow bar that, used to, that would be at the bottom telling me that uh, it failed. Uh, if you've been having this problem, you know what I'm talking about, right? Okay, so I had that problem. Then, out of nowhere, it fixed itself. It started working. I was like, damn, what happened? I don't know. It just, you know how sometimes things, your router just start working and go out and just start working, right? Okay, so the AMX started working. Then, a few days ago, the Akai AFX, it didn't give a warning shot. It just, it would just stand still. Like, I could hit the buttons on here, try to affect the echo, try to sound. I mean, the uh, the bar right here, whatever, the touch didn't work, right? Sampler didn't work. Okay. So then I went on to a Facebook page called Serato Nation. That's right. DJ Kirk State on Facebook. And I belong to a group called Serato Nation. Okay. I went there, asked a quick question, not even 10 hours ago, asked a quick question of how I could get this resolved. And someone pasted a link, okay, and it had a description on how to repair this problem. And I'm going to share it with you because that's what everything is all about, us sharing things with each other, information gets around, it's all positive, it's all good, okay? Because it was very hard in me trying to reach a Kai. Matter of fact, I did try to reach a Kai when I was having problems with the AF, AMX, and of course, I got no reply, no nothing, bam. Okay, I couldn't find it nowhere on the Serato form, nowhere, bam. So I went to the Serato Nation Facebook page, and I, you know, and I asked the question. So it was real simple, okay? It's a couple of steps, real simple, all right? So first, what you want to do is make sure that you unplug your MIDI devices, okay? Or the dicers or whatever it is you want to fix, make sure it's unplugged, okay? Then you're going to go over and get out of this mess right here. <laughs> also known as Serato, right? Okay. And then you're going to hit the go. Go to go tab. And you're going to go down to utilities. All right? Hit utilities. And the next step while you're under the utilities menu will be audio MIDI setup. What you're going to want to do is open that up. Bam. There you are. Now you see audio devices, right? Okay. Now, the next step is go up to the bar up here, right? Hit window. And you're going to show MIDI Studio. All right? Bam. Now, see this? Now, this is where the money is right here. You see all the devices that were connected, that are connected, uh, whatever. Because I had a few up here that things that I'm not using anymore. But now you see uh, for the Rain 62, the AMX, the AFX, uh, the Dicer, the Mixtrack Pro 2, all that good stuff. Even though you don't see it connected here, it was or will be at one time connected to this computer, okay? So this is real simple. What you're going to do is go to the device you want to um, fix, which is real simple. You're going to click on it. Let's say, for instance, the Akai Pro AFX. Now you see that little yellow highlighted um Whatever. <laughs> you see a highlighted yellow? Okay. Then you're going to go up to edit, which is right here. Click edit. And very simply, click delete. And what will happen is this will disappear. Okay. Same thing with any of these. If you click on it and then you go up here and hit delete, it will poof, be gone. All right. And then what you want to do is back out of here. Okay. Okay. I'm going to close all this stuff out. Okay. Audio MIDI setup. Quick audio MIDI setup. All right. And then you're going to open Serato back up. Okay. So we got Serato open back up. And what you're simply going to do is plug everything back in. Plug your um, USB cords back in. Okay. Now, note. Now, note. This will work if there's nothing wrong with your MIDI cords. Now, of course, that's one of the first things you're going to check without calling Serato without looking for videos, without calling Akai or whatever, right? 
Okay, so plug your, your cords back in after you've done that. All right. And you should be good to go. And it will take literally about 10, 15 seconds for it to recognize. Okay. And then you just turn your music on and you should be good to go. And there you have it, quick fix to a Kai AMX AFX or your Dicers or whatever it is you have. It's not being recognized after an OSX upgrade or something like that. That's when this usually happens. So um, after you do your, your up OSX upgrades and all that, what you want to do is do, go through this process, which is real simple. Start it all over and bam, you should be good to go as long as your cords aren't bad, as long as your USB cords aren't bad or anything like that, okay? And that's a quick tutorial from me to you, my gift today. All right. So hit me up uh, in the comments. If you got any other questions, anything else you want me to check out. And don't forget, um, join the Serato Nation Facebook page. You can also check me out at Kirk State Pirate Satellite Radio, um, which is actually on blogtalkradio.com forward slash Kirk State Pirate Radio. Also on iTunes podcast app, uh, Kirk State Pirate Radio. All right. Peace them out. There we go. I'm gonna put a little sound back on for you. Hey, Kirk State, break it down.